I'm going to quickly show you raised tables across a junction and also into parking bays like this over here. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn on the uh, raised table tools here and we're going to create a new table. So I'm going to use my snaps to help me choose it. So I'm going to choose this road here and I'm going to say from here through to here. So now we can do our start ramps and end ramp lengths as well as choose the table heights. And you can notice we have this option to extend into secondary channel items. This will then mean it'll push out into here. If I click OK on that one, it automatically creates a raised table into these parking areas here. To do the other side of this junction and this junction over here, which is this one on the 3D view, we just do another speed table from uh, this road at the beginning through to wherever we need it to go to. So in this case, there. Now, at the junction, we want the start ramp length to be zero. Click OK on that one. And there we go. We now have a speed table into that road across that junction. And we want to do the exact same thing here on this road from the beginning through to there with the start ramp length in this case, because it's the start of the road set to zero. And there we have, we have a uh, speed table or raised table that goes across a junction, across two junctions and also into these parking areas here, where if we zoom in, you can see we have a small upstand going into this parking bay. Thank you.